I was going to do something completely different. So, here's something completely different. And now for something completely different. I just wanted to touch base on a recent purchase. 2022 CVO Road Glide Limited in screaming ass yellow. Okay. Okay, they call it hightail yellow. Whatever. But here's why you don't want to buy a CVO, right? God, the lighting is terrible. A little bit of a problem. And Harley Davidson, if you're listening, you're putting out shit. Okay, you're 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 having a custom shop paint your bikes, which should be phenomenal, right? Now I will admit there's not a single freaking piece of orange peel on this tank. Nice, but here's the problem: your your clear coat, for example, is peeling off just from fucking putting it together at at the factory. Now I don't know if this is going to show up very well on camera or not. I'm going to try. All right. Right here. See this? This clear coat is peeling off of here just from it being put together at the factory. Right? So they ship these things. They paint them outside. It's being painted by an outside company. Right? Which is fine. But look at that. Look at that shitty workmanship. Right? It's just peeling off from it coming from the factory. Uh, I, that's there's no excuse for that, right? Your clear coat shouldn't be peeling off. This bike, literally, look at this. Five hundred and ninety-four miles. It's barely made it through its break-in point. Yet here we go, looking at clear coat peeling off. It just poorly applied. I don't know, I, I, I don't know why, but this is this is ridiculous. This is an absolutely beautiful bike. I'm not going to say what I paid for it. Yes, I paid over MSRP. Uh, go buy a bike today and not pay over MSRP. All right. I, I it, it's I love this bike. Don't take me wrong. I really do like this bike. It's a beautiful bike. It's absolutely gorgeous right but there's no excuse for that kind of crappy paint quality and the overspray I mean you think that they would tape off I mean you get better paint jobs from the factory look at this you know it's just it's it's just amazing that you've got that why that makes that it makes absolutely no sense to me right it's it's everywhere it's like that look at that hey look at look at the hinges they're not even properly painted both of them that's that there, there's no there's there's absolutely no excuse for something like that when you're paying cvo kind of money for a bike like this it this is this is fin it just blows my brain how you can do this right now, I did do, I will admit, I did do a little bit of adjustment here. These bars, you know, Road Glide bars are back. There's, take this front piece off, there's a pin. Basically, there's a, there's, there's a pin in there in the, in the top of the triple true part. And it, there's a hole in the bar. And that's for alignment, right? It's basically so that when they put them together at the factory, they just slip the bar in and bolt it down. You just take the bar out take the cap top cap off drive that pen out and you can readjust those bars up right so that's what I did so it looks more like you've got you know higher bars on there but it's not those are just those are the stock bars just moved forward a little bit I'm six one I've got ape arms right my dress shirts have a 36 inch sleeve my inseam is 36 I'm square right this is ridiculous. The, 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 this paint, though, you've got that kind of an issue on here for this kind of CVO money. I, I love the bike. Don't take me wrong. I absolutely love the bike. Harley Davidson, if you're listening to this, you, you, you need, to, need to go talk to your folks right, about this because this paint is just going to end up peeling. It, and it does. You and I are going to have a bit of a discussion, right? 
uh, I've already called I've already called your support line once on and registered a complaint on this paint we have an issue as this goes forward we'll be constantly calling and complaining about this until you guys get this shit fixed and make it right because this is just wrong right that's all I got to say about it so that was something completely different and ride fast take chances have a great day see ya supplemental I, I want to talk about one other thing because there was another problem with this bike right so I left the dealership with this thing no sound I got down the road no sound out of the radio whatsoever okay got home called the dealership talked to the service manager he's like hey you know what when we pull this thing off the trailer because now let me back up again for a second this bike took a lot of challenge to get there was some trading between dealerships that that's dealership owns as well as another dealership in Miami so they ended up having to move a couple of bikes to Tennessee bring a CVO from Tennessee down to Miami take this bike trade it for this CVO in Miami because I was looking for the yellow one not the orange not the paint not the green with the black ghost flames I wanted this one and service manager said hey you know what when we pulled this thing off the trailer audio was working fine I was listening to um, ACDC when we pulled it off the trailer it was working fine so I don't know what's going on bring it back in brought it back in two issues one is these have the amps now with the Rockford Fosgate they've got the amps in the right side saddlebag I'm sorry left side saddlebag there's two connectors that go to it which is weird because there's no high you know typically when you put an amp in you got a high you got like a 10 gauge or so wire running for power and ground and all that to the battery not on these Rockford Fosgate setup is totally different so they're like you're right there's no sound nothing they pulled trouble codes right they complained about amp low input outputs all this shit they ended up having to reflash the radio reflash the amp basically reflash the entire freaking audio system and on the saddlebag there's two plug like i said there's two plugs in the back one of the one wire on that was was nicked you could see copper hanging out of the out of the insulation so they had to resolder re-shrink wrap or heat heat shrink wrap that wire hopefully there's not another problem with it because now it's on the it's on the dealers um it's been serviced it's on the record for this bike it's been done this is just another statement of harley davidson and your quality being shit these days stop making your stuff in china it's ridiculous you pay this kind of money for a bike and you have this kind of problem right out of the get-go I mean the thing had 16 miles on it when I picked it up so a little bit on the high side somebody's been riding this thing around a little bit you know but nevertheless I love this bike it handles well I like it I'm just frustrated with the stupidity and issues with this bike sometime something's got to get fixed Harley Davidson you got to fix your shit because it's messed all right so sorry about that I know I signed out but we're going to have to do a little bit of editing on this one y'all gotta know it I mean, don't don't buy a CVO right now I, I just I'm blown away with this with the poor quality of this bike I, all right Harley, yes, I voided my warranty, okay? I put a set of slip-ons on here. Evil! There's a set of, there's a set of tab mufflers on here, okay? Yes, I, I, I violated my warranty. Fine, I don't give a shit. It's got nothing to do with the fact I put mufflers on this thing, right? Sounds like a sewing machine. Here's the other thing. I pulled the mufflers off, the stock mufflers off. There was rust around the right side pipe already. I had trouble getting it off because it was rusted. The bike had no miles on it, and it was rusted. Are you kidding me? Harley, get your shit together. And if nothing else, ride fast, take chances. See ya!